Bigger than North Yorkshire, Britain's largest county, the Dordogne covers three and a half thousand square miles of the southwest of France. And with a population of little over 400,000 people, it means there's a lot of room for everyone to stretch out and relax. The amount of affordable fertile land on offer is something that drew Alex Crow and his partner Claire here four years ago. They moved to France with their two children, 10-year-old India and 5-year-old Finn, after making the decision to leave the rat race behind and lead a life of self-sufficiency. At school, I think I said I'd never have a desk job, and then I had a desk job for 18 years, and then now working in the woods, working outside is fantastic. Alex and Claire set up a yurt campsite to make an income and create a place where they could offer their guests a taste of the good life. The sort of experience that we're trying to offer people here is the sort of experience that we would like to have. People who are interested in self-sufficiency, not just living in yurts. Their first guests of the season are coming in 10 days. And Claire and Alex want to make sure the guest yurt is looking its absolute best. We're replacing the yurt completely because it's, it's gone mouldy, it got damp over the winter and because the, the fabric was coming to the end of its life. So that whole yurt needs taken down and a new one putting up that's nice and clean and shiny and hasn't been used yet. And Claire's making the new yurt cover herself. It's 18 feet wide, so that's no small task. I learned to stitch when I was about 14 at school. If you told me then that I'd have stitched my own house, so I would have just thought you were insane. With the old year dismantled, Alex is finishing off putting a brand new frame in place. It's a handcrafted structure shipped over from the UK. I've got some very strange poles in this pile. Very strange. <laughs> Time to put Claire's handiwork to the test. Will the new cover fit the frame? When the cover goes up and it fits, that's when I get to go, oh. OK. <laughs> oh, it will be a huge relief. It's not fitting quite as beautifully as it should do. It's looking a bit baggy at the top and a bit tight around the bottom. We need to pull it in a foot. At this time of night, um, I'm all for going and having dinner right now <laughs> and coming back to it. Sounds like a good idea to me. With the arrival of their first guests just days away, Alex and Claire come down the next morning and have another go at sorting the unruly cover. This year it needs to be pulled in, and then the roof should fit perfectly, and the wall should fit perfectly within the next half hour. Now, that seems to have done the trick. It's a new frame, never been used before, new cover. It doesn't look any better than this, ever. Later on, Alex and Claire's first guests give their verdict on the brand spanking new accommodation. We have a cover. Uh -oh. Rain could come in. <laughs> yeah, rain. I guess rain could come in, huh? No but you can cover. also see the stars, I think. Yes. 